Hi everyone, welcome back to Cotton Crush Crochet. My name is Rosa and today we are making this gorgeous little jelly bean pullover. I really love this pattern. It works up so quick and easy and it is very beginner friendly. Um, I enjoyed it and the little jelly bean bumps gives it a bit of texture so that it is not just a plain sweater or pullover. So yeah, let's get into it. For this project, you're going to need your yarn. Now, the main body of our pullover, I'm going to create with Charity Double Knit Pull Skein in the color Bloom Box. It's a 644. And then the ribbing areas, I'm going to use Charity Double Knit Pull Skein again, but in the color Raspberry. It's 742. You will also need your crochet hooks. Um, I'm going to use a four millimeter crochet hook for the main uh, work and then for the ribbing on just the neckline area. I'm going to be using one size smaller, it's a three millimeter crochet hook. So whatever yarn you're using, you use the recommended crochet hook size and then uh, just one size smaller for the ribbing on the neck area, just to get it nice and tight. Then you will also need your measuring tape, a pair of scissors, and a few stitch markers. And that's it. So let's get started. You can pause the video here to see the measurements required for the size you would want to create, or you can um, use your own measurements. I will also post these charts on the community section of the channel. Your starting chain is going to be the length of your head circumference. So you're going to chain as many chains as you need to create that length. Then you can count your chains and see which one of these rectangles comes closest. So the number in the middle of the rectangle is the total number of chains and the numbers on the outside is the numbers for each section of the or each side of the rectangle. I'm going to start by making a slip knot. So wrap the yarn around your fingers, pop your hook in under the first strand, hook the second one and slide down. Or whichever way works for you and now I'm going to start with my starting chain so I'm going to yarn over pull through 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 and I'm going to continue doing that until I've reached the number of chains that I need for the <coughs> the circumference of the head area that I'm going to create on my pullover and I will meet you at the end. I have created my starting chain and as you can see I've already measured it out so I have placed my stitch markers where each corner is going to be. So my square or rectangle will look something like that. Now I just want to show you my um, rectangle sides, the one, um, the front and back side of the pullover is going to be 26 stitches and then over the shoulder area is going to be 18 stitches. So I count one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, uh, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, and then in the next one, that's my stitch marker, so that is not included in the count. And then I skip that one and start on this side. And here it's going to be 18 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the next one is my stitch marker. 
at the end I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going over my shoulder. And then we're going to make sure that this is nice and straight. And we're going to connect back to the start. So for the uh, corner um, chain here, sorry, we're going to connect to our start. So I'm going to pop my hook in there into that first loop and simply chain stitch onto there. So now we've got a nice square and I'm going to pop my stitch marker into that last chain there and now I'm going to go straight into making half double crochet stitches. So into that very first chain space where we connected now. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that same space again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And into the next one, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And I'm going to continue making half double crochet stitches all the way up until my stitch marker and I will meet you there. I'm going to make my last double, half double crochet stitch here before I get to my stitch marker so I'm gonna insert my hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and now I'm gonna take out my stitch marker and then into that chain space I'm going to make a half double crochet stitch so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and now I'm going to chain two, one, two. And then I'm gonna make another half double crochet stitch into that very same chain space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There you go, that is your first corner. And now we're going to continue making half double crochet stitches all the way around. And then at every corner you're going to make a half double crochet stitch chain two and another half double crochet stitch and then continue on with your chain working the half double crochet stitches all the way around and i will meet you at the end as you can see i've reached the end of my first row and now i'm just going to create that corner over here so working into that last chain there or the um, the slip stitch that we made I'm going to yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and then I'm going to chain one two and yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three okay and now we're going to work directly into that very first half double crochet stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over into the next half double crochet stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. And again, yarn over, 
into your next stitch insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and we're going to continue making half double crochet stitches for this row um, I will meet you when you get to your first corner just to show you again how to do that and then uh, we will continue using the half double crochet stitch to make um, the, the next two rows so we're going to have three rows of half double crochet stitches but I will meet you at this corner to do that right so I've reached my corner here and as you can see I have made the last half double crochet stitch into the uh, the row there and now we are at the stitch that was in the corner in the previous row so I'm going to work a half double crochet into that stitch so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and now into the chain space I'm going to yarn over insert my hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and then chain one two and another um, yarn over insert your hook into the chain space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops so as you can see every time you go one row up you're going to work a half double crochet stitch into that um, stitch that is in the corner and then work another half double crochet stitch into the chain space before you chain two again and now we're simply going to continue with our row so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three i'm going to continue making my half double crochet stitches and then i will meet you at the end of row three so we're going to go all the way around again and um, simply keep working in the round creating the corners as we did here and then i will meet you once you're done with row three i have made my first three rows and now we're going to start with these little jelly bean stitches now i'm going to be very honest with you i have no idea what this is called i just call them jelly beans because that's what they look like to me so um let's get started with that i'm at the end of my third row so i'm just going to finish off quickly yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three then yarn over into the chain space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and chain two yarn over insert into the chain space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three now i'm going to make three half double crochet stitches so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and then i'm going to chain three so one two three okay now i'm going to go yarn over into my next stitch i'm going to insert my hook yarn over pull through and pull up slightly and now i'm going to repeat that yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through that's twice and now another the third time yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through and now we're going to yarn over and pull through all those loops until we've got just two loops on our hook and then i'm going to yarn over and pull through those two 
Okay, so we're going to make a little puff stitch, but because we made the chains there, our puff is going to be on its side. And now I'm going to count one, two, three stitches, and then I'm going to yarn over and into that third one, I'm going to make a half double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And there we go, we've made our first little jelly bean. So now we're gonna make another two half double crochet stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, pull three. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so let's make another jelly bean. We're gonna go, uh, make three chains so one two three and then yarn over into that first stitch insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook again yarn over pull through and the third time yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through and now we're going to yarn over and pull through until we've got two loops on our hook and then yarn over, pull through those two. Okay, and then we're gonna count three stitches. One, two, three. So we're leaving two open and into the third one, we're gonna go yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There we go. Now another two half double crochet stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we're going to make another jelly bean. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then yarn over into our next stitch. We're going to insert our hook. Yarn over, pull through, and again, yarn over, and insert your hook again. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Always make sure that you've got enough space in your loops there. You don't want to get your hook stuck. And, and if it's too tight, then your little jelly bean won't be nice and puffy. So we're going to yarn over, pull through until you've got two loops on your hook and yarn over, pull through. Okay, and now we're gonna count again. One, two, three, and into the third stitch, we're gonna make another half double crochet stitch. There we go. So you can continue with that pattern uh, all the way around. I'm gonna make three half double crochet stitches and then one little jelly bean and repeat that all the way around for this row. I just want to get to the corner and then I will show you how we deal with our corners. Um, so, right. Okay, so as you can see, I'm very close to my corner right now. So now I have a choice. Do I make another jelly bean or do I just make half double crochet stitches until I get there? So what we're going to do is we're going to count. We're going to see if we can fit another jelly bean in. If I make a jelly bean that's going to start in this stitch and then we're going to skip two and then make a make the next half double crochet stitch into that very last one so I think we can fit one in so I'm gonna chain three yarn over insert my hook yarn over pull through yarn over insert my hook again yarn over pull through and again there we go yarn over pull through all the loops until I've got two left and then yarn over pull through those two and now we're going to skip those two stitches and into the third one, I'm going to make a half double crochet stitch like so. Okay, so if I was not able to make that um, 
jelly bean there I would just continue on with half double crochet stitches until I get to the corner and then we start on this side again um, as your uh, yoke grows your each row is going to differ where you're going to place your jelly beans is also going to differ so don't get too hung up on getting them exact because we, they're going to be alternating and um, each row is going to be different as, as we grow the, the pullover. Okay, so I'm going to continue making my row and I will meet you at the end to show you how we do the next row. I'm at the end of row four and just to show you over here I was not able to fit in another jelly bean stitch so I just finished off with doing half double crochets until the end and the same on this side here okay so now for this next row we, it's going to be um, another row of half double crochet stitches only so this is a four row repeat this is the basic four rows and we're just going to repeat that throughout the pattern so we're going to go yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we are at the jelly bean stitch. So here, into that three chains that you made there, we're going to make two half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that open space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three okay and then on the other side of our jelly bean we've got a loop here so we're gonna go yarn over and into that space that loop space there so it's actually on top of our jelly bean stitch so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three so that's what it's going to look like and then we're going to work our stitches into the next three there so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and the last one yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three okay so now we've got another jelly bean stitch so we're gonna go yarn over and into that open space insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three we've got two done and now our third one is going to be on this side where we've got the um, stitch so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and now into the next three stitches insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and now the last jelly bean stitch that I'm going to do with you so we're going to go yarn over into that open space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over into that open space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and now into the um, stitch at the top so we're going to go yarn over insert your hook there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and now we're just going to continue making that row all the way around 
And then once we're done with that row, we're going to add another two rows of half double crochet stitches so that we've got three plain rows in total. And then I will meet you at the end of those three rows for our next row of jelly bean stitches. As you can see, I'm finished with that third row of half double crochet stitches. And now I'm just going to make my corner. So yarn over into that chain space area, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and then chain two, and yarn over into that same space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now the same as we did with this row here, I'm going to make three half double crochet stitches. So yarn over into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Right, so now with our first jelly bean stitch, you will see that it is not going to be underneath the jelly bean in this row. So because we've uh, added three rows in between, there's three extra stitches, which means that they will be alternating the jelly beans, um, the spacing of the jelly beans will be alternating. So we're gonna go one, two, three chains, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. So we've got all our loops and then yarn over and pull through all the big loops and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. And now we're gonna count one, two, three, and into that third one, we're gonna work our first half double crochet. There we go. And now we're going to do another two half double crochet stitches. So yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through all three, and again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So now you'll be able to see what I mean. Here where our jelly bean stitch was in this row, we're gonna have half double crochet stitches here. And now we're gonna make a jelly bean stitch here where we've got the half double crochet stitches on this side. So we're gonna continue doing that making three rows of half double crochet stitches, one row of jelly beans, and then again, three rows of half double crochet stitches and one row with the jelly beans. And then we're going to uh, continue with our yoke until the yoke is the desired size. Um, so we're gonna measure our yoke. Let me show you. We're going to be measuring the armhole depth. So the armhole depth will be what if you fold it like this in half, you're going to measure from the top down to where you're going to connect. So this is 10 centimeters. That is not enough. I need to make this bigger, but I will meet you once my yoke is the size that I want it to be so that I can connect them to create the bust area and then I will meet you there. To see if your yoke is the correct size we are going to fold the yoke so that the shoulder areas come together at the bottom. This is where they're going to meet under the arms. So we're going to put them together like so and then we're going to measure the armhole depth to make sure that it's the the right depth there once you've reached the correct depth then you can also check your chest area to make sure that your chest is the correct size if you need to add a few stitches to the chest area you can do that in this row so my yoke is the right size so I'm going to I'm doing a row of um, jelly bean stitches so you might be on a different row doesn't matter I'm going to show you how we're going to do this 
So first I'm going to start my row as I normally would for the, this is the front or back, uh, back, this is the back of the pullover. So I'm just going to um, start my row and then I will meet you once I get to this corner here. I've gone down my row and I'm at my corner over here. So now we're going to fold our yoke in. Get the corners together. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet into this uh, chain space here. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now I am going to add three chains in between um, my points just because I need to add about a centimeter or two to my chest width so I'm going to say so one two three chains and then on the other side of my armhole I'm going to connect it straight into that uh, chain space there so I'm going to yarn over insert my hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three so now I've connected it there that's going to be my armhole and then this is going to be for the body so I'm going to continue down this line here and then I will meet you once I get to the other side to connect that armhole as well Right, so I'm at the corner and I'm going to connect to the other side of my armhole. So the same as I did before, I'm going to make a half double crochet into the chain space there. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and then chain three. One, two, three, and yarn over insert into that chain space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three now i needed to add this little bit of length here so that's why i do the three chains if you do not need to add that you don't need to um, if you need a little bit more space you can add more chains as well this all depends on the size that you want to create so now I am simply going to continue with my next row, which is a row of uh, half double crochet stitches. So um, I'm going to carry on down the row and then I will meet you on this side just to show you how we get across this section. As you can see, I've gone down the row with my half double crochet stitches and I'm at the first armhole. So I'm simply going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And I'm going to continue doing that into these chain spaces as well. So yarn over, insert your hook, you might have to wiggle it in a bit. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and now I'm just going to continue down the row as I did before. Now, one little uh, tip that I can give you is once you start with the body part like this you might lose track of your of which row you are on so here I suggest that you start putting in a stitch marker to show where the beginning of each row is so this is going to be the beginning of my next row so once I get to the stitch marker I know that I'm on a new row um, because sometimes I do tend to forget where I am and then I don't finish my row before I start with the jelly bean stitches for the, um, for the next row. 
I'm at the end of uh, my next row. So you see I've done my three rows of half double crochet stitches. And there's my three, one, two, three. And I'm going to end it off with my last one. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So now my row is done and I'm going to start my new row. And my next row is jelly bean stitches. So we're going to go ahead and start with three half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now I'm going to make my first jelly bean. So I'm going to go uh, chain one, two, three, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Nice little puff stitch there. And we're going to yarn over and pull through all those big loops. And then yarn over and pull through the last two. And now I'm going to yarn over count one two three and into the third one i'm going to create a half double crochet and there we go so i am now going to continue working my rows in the round as we've been doing and just uh, build on the body part of the pullover as you can see i've done a few rows on my body area so far and I'm on my, I'm going to start with my second row of the jelly beans now. Just wanted to show you how we're going to do here. Because before, we didn't have to think much about where we placed our jelly beans because with each increase, it moved it along. So you can see there, we've got a nice little row of jelly beans stacked under each other. And it looks all neatly spaced. So for this row, because the first one we did in the body part, the jelly bean is over here. Now we're going to start with the jelly bean. So we're not going to do three half double crochet stitches and then do a jelly bean. We're going to start off making a jelly bean stitch. So our very first stitch of this row is going to be the jelly bean. So I'm going to finish off my previous row with a half double crochet and then I'm going to chain three one two three yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over and insert your hook yarn over pull through and yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through all the loops and then yarn over pull through the last two Okay, and now we're going to yarn over and count one, two, three into that third one. We make our half double crochet stitch. And there we go. So you can see we are still keeping our jelly beans neatly spaced. And I'm simply going to continue with this pattern now, making my three half double crochet stitches. And then my next jelly bean. So when I do my next row of the jelly bean stitches, um, I'm going to start with the three half double crochet stitches and then do the, the jelly bean and alternate them like that down the body of the pullover. So that is the basic pattern. I'm simply going to continue with those, the four row repeat working in the round and um, build up the body of the pullover and then I will meet you at the end when we get to the bottom. I am done creating the length of my pullover and I'm going to finish it off by doing a last half double crochet. So just one there and then I am going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch there. So just like that and then chain one. I'm going to cut off my yarn and pull through. 
And there we go. So now my body area is done. Next up, we're going to be doing the sleeves for the pullover. So we're going to start again by making a slip knot. You can pinch your yarn with your thumb, wrap it around your two fingers, turn it over, pop your hook under the first strand, hook the second one and slide down. Or whichever way works for you. Okay, so now we're going to start at the bottom of our sleeve. So here in the uh, armpit area, we're going to start there. So we are just going to insert our hook like so and then we're going to yarn over and pull through and pull through there as well. There we go. So we are connected and now you can chain one, two, <laughs> and now we are simply going to start um, with this row of jelly beans because that is the row that I did the last, that was my first row where I did the, uh, the chain spaces to connect the two pieces of the yoke. So I'm going to start with that on my sleeves so if you uh, connected in a half double crochet row you're gonna start with that here and if you did the jelly bean row you're gonna start with that row here whatever row you did to connect the two that is the one you're gonna start with okay so I'm gonna yarn over and I'm going to work one half double crochet into every stitch here. So at the bottom of, of every stitch. So you can see I connected there. Now I'm working into my next stitch and yarn over into the next stitch there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And now I've got my uh, side of my half double crochet here I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into that the side there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three so I'm just going to work one stitch into the side of that stitch there and then here is the um, the chain space from the yoke area I'm going to work one half double crochet into that space. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, and now from here on out, it's just normal stitches. So I'm going to start making my first jelly bean. So at the bottom here, at least for the, the beginning row, I'm not going to be making the jelly bean stitches I just want to get my sleeve started for now and um, I'm not going to put any jelly beans at the bottom here for now but um, as soon as we've got our sleeve um, started and in the next jelly bean row we will be adding jelly beans all, all around okay so now we're going to chain three one two three Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And now yarn over through all the long loops and yarn over through the last two. And yarn over and one, two, three, connect into the third stitch with a half double crochet. And there we go. So I'm going to continue going around my sleeve, doing my three half double crochet stitches and then a jelly bean stitch. And then I will meet you at the end when we connect our sleeve.
I have worked my row all the way around and now I'm going to just finish it off. So I'm going to work a half double crochet stitch into the chain space from my yoke there. So, and then one into that upright stitch there, yarn over, and then insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and then I've got one stitch left over here. So yarn over, insert there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so now I am going to connect to this um these chains that i made in the beginning there so i'm going to insert my hook at the top of those chains those chain spaces <laughs> if i can get my hook in there we go yarn over pull through and now i'm going to chain two one two okay Right, so from this row on, from the, the second row on, we're going to start decreasing our stitches. So in every row, we're going to decrease by one stitch. So we're going to start off this row with a decrease. So yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch there. Insert. Yarn over, pull through. And now I'm going to yarn over again and into the next stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. I've got five loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all five at once. And then I'm simply going to continue doing my half double crochet stitches all the way around until I get to the end again. And then I will meet you there. Okay, so I've gone all the way around and now I'm going to connect to my chains here at the top yarn over pull through and pull through and i'm going to chain two again so now for this row the previous row i ink or oh, i decreased sorry <laughs> i decreased at the beginning for the next row i'm going to decrease at the end so i'm going to start off by making half double crochet stitches all the way around and then I will do a decrease stitch at the end. And I'm going to alternate that um, all the way down my sleeve until I've reached the correct um, wrist size that I need. So with each row, we're gonna decrease one stitch. In the one row, we're gonna do it at the beginning of the row, and then the next row, we're gonna do it at the end of the row. And we're gonna continue until we've reached the correct wrist size that we want. And then from there on, we will just continue with that size until the length of the sleeve is made up. But I will show you that once we get there. So for now, I'm gonna finish my row with my half double crochet stitches and I will do a decrease with you at the end. I am at the end of my row, so I'm going to do my decrease into these last two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over into the next one, yarn over, pull through. I've got five loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all five. And then I'm going to pop my hook into the top of those uh, chains and Yarn over, pull through both, and then I'm going to chain two again. So I've made a decrease here and I've made a decrease there, and now I'm going to make a decrease at the beginning of my row again. So yarn over and then insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops, like so. And 
then I'm simply going to continue doing my normal row. And for me, this is a half double crochet row. So it's just all half double crochets. So I'm going to continue doing that. I'm going to decrease one stitch from each row until I've re until I'm <laughs> at the, the desired wrist width of my sleeve. And then I will meet you there. I'm on my last row with a decrease. So I'm going to do my slip stitch and chain two. And then from this row on, I am simply going to make one um, stitch into every stitch. So no more decreases, just going to keep the stitch count the same. And then I'm going to work my rows all the way until my sleeve is the length I need it to be. Once I've done that, then um, I will meet you there. I'm finished with my sleeve and I'm just going to slip stitch into that chain space there at the top. If I can get my hook in, <laughs> yarn over, pull through, pull through, and then chain one. And then I'm going to cut off my yarn. And there we go, pull through. And that is my sleeve all done. So as you can see, I decreased my sleeve up until this point, and this is where I had the correct cuff size. And so I just continued with that amount of stitches all the way to the end, and now it's done. To finish off, we're going to create the ribbing that goes along the edges of our pullover. So we're going to do the sleeves, the bottom of our pullover, as well as the neckline. So first off, we're going to start with a slip knot. I'm going to pinch the yarn with your two, wrap it around your two fingers, apologies. Then pop your hook under the first strand, hook the second one and slide down. And now I'm going to connect my yarn to this stitch where we ended off on the previous color. So I'm going to hook my yarn and pull through like so and then just chain two. One, two. Okay, so now I'm going to be working in my tails. You can do it any way you want but I prefer just to get it all worked in as we go along. So all we're going to do for now, the first row is going to be a row of half double crochet stitches. So yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over into your next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. I'm going to continue doing that all the way around and I will meet you back at the beginning. I am at the end of my first row of the ribbing and now I'm simply going to slip stitch into that top chain from the previous row. And now we're going to chain two again and now we're going to work front post and back post half double crochet stitches. So we're going to alternate between them. So let's start with the front post. So push your hook in behind the stitch and yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now for a back post, so yarn over, and we're going to pop our hook from the back, push that stitch backwards, and then yarn over, pull through until you've got three loops on your hook and then yarn over, pull through all three. And again, yarn over and the next stitch here, we're going to push our hook in behind it, push it up, 
and then yarn over and pull through and yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over now it's going to be a back post so we're going behind our stitch push it to the back and then yarn over pull through and then yarn over pull through all three so instead of working into the top loops there you are working around your previous stitch so again yarn over I'm gonna pop my hook in behind the stitch push the stitch up yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over and now going behind this one and pull through so we're going to continue doing those uh, alternating between the front post and back post half double crochet stitches all the way around and i will meet you at the end of the row i am at the end of my row and i'm going to slip stitch into the top chain stitch there from the previous row and then chain two again right so now for the next row we're going to continue doing the alternating front post back post half double crochet stitches um, so we're simply going to continue with the stitches that we had in the previous row so yarn over if you have a front post then you're going to keep doing the front post stitch so put your hook in behind the stitch push it up yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and now the next one is a back post so yarn over push your hook in push it back and yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and again yarn over put your hook in behind the pillar of the stitch and yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three and again yarn over and push that one back yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three so i'm going to continue doing those front post back post stitches all the way to the end and then i'm going to do another two rows of that so all in all um this will be five rows altogether. our first row of just um half double crochet stitches is one and then four rows of the front post back post um, half double crochet stitches and then I will meet you at the end to finish off I'm finished with the last row of my ribbing and now I'm simply going to slip stitch into that chain space there pull through and then chain one and now I'm going to cut my yarn and pull it through and that is it my sleeve is done so now I can just work in this tail and that's it so this is the the ribbing is going to be done exactly the same way for both sleeves as well as the the bottom of your pullover for the neckline you're going to do the ribbing in the exact same way but here you're going to use a crochet hook that is a size smaller so for instance i did my entire pullover with a four millimeter crochet hook and now for my neckline i'm going to use a three millimeter crochet hook. so as you can see my pullover is all done I finished doing the ribbing stitches on the sleeves at the bottom of my pullover as well as the collar and if you look at the collar you will see that it is um, definitely a bit the stitches are a bit tighter than these ones and that's just because I used the three millimeter crochet hook on these ones and on these ones I used the four millimeter crochet hook. so that using a smaller crochet hook helps to cinch in that neck area very nicely and yeah that's that our pullover is all done 
Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I really appreciate it. Feel free to like and subscribe, leave any comments, or suggestions or questions that you might have. I would love to hear from you and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon for another tutorial. Bye!